I'm Isaac Grindel, alongside Duncan Maloney and Ben Rosenblatt. We're outside Fenway Park for Game 5, the ALDS between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Tonight, uh, Luis Severino, his brother Rock, against Chris Sale. Uh, what are your thoughts on the game tonight, Duncan? I feel like it's going to come down to the bats are going to be alive. I mean, obviously, these pitchers are going to be and the pitchers are going to hold the uh, little or no runs, so it's up to the hitters to try and bang some runs in so that the defense can just lose some job. Yeah, I think going into this game, nobody's really expecting a big offensive game. These two guys are battling it out for AL Cy Young, so it's going to be an extremely interesting game, and it's going to be a real pitcher's duel in the morning session. Um, I think that... Get, don't get me wrong, this is the MLB, they're the best baseball players in the world, but they still do make mistakes. And I think who makes this game, who wins this game, is going to be who makes the least mistakes and who can execute on those mistakes that the teams do make. Yeah, who do you think is going to be the star tonight? What leader of the team is going to step up tonight and really decide how to resolve this game? Uh, I think it's got to be uh, J.D. Martinez. I think he's going to... He's, he's going to come alive with uh, the Luis Severino. He's going to get a big shot. And that's going to get the momentum going for the Red Sox. So you always need someone like that in the clubhouse and in the dugout. I think that once J.D. Martinez gets going, I think that you can't stop the Sox. Yeah, I think also it's an unstoppable offense. Giancarlo Stan has been extremely hot. And it'll be extremely interesting. As I said, Chris Sale, one of the lowest ERAs, both guys in contention, as I said, for the AL Cy Young. So we're not really expecting a pitchers. We're not really expecting a big hitting that night. Not a huge offensive night. We're not going to see some eight to six, four to eight, thirteen game. I'm worried about one nothing to one. What are your thoughts on tonight's game? I think that the Red Sox might get on Sevy early, and um, and the. They'll have to go to the bullpen, and I think that a guy like Chad Green or Jason Shane will come up really big and just go lights out like in the wild card game last year. And the Yankees offense will spring it up, and the Yankees will get a good win at least like four runs. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't think the Red Sox have the depth of the bullpen. They've really burned that out the series so far, so it's going to be interesting. The Yankees still do have Robertson, and they have the Street. What are your thoughts? Well, well, let's do score predictions. My score prediction is going to be the Yankees are going to pull this one out and they're going to pull it out four to three. What are your thoughts? Uh, I think that the uh, I think that the Red Sox are going to pull it out today because even though they don't have a lot of depth in the bullpen, Chris Sale can go late. I say he can go like six and a half, seven. Bring in like Joe Kelly, Matt Barnes, and Shell Craig Campbell. That's a strong pitching lineup. And uh, yeah, the Red Sox. What's your prediction? I think that the Yankees will pull it out late in the game, maybe the sixth or seventh inning. They'll start to get their bats going. I think that the final score will be something like five to four. Yeah, thanks for watching. Um, signing off, Isaac Brindell, alongside my co-host, Michael Malone, and Rose Poe.